Hey guys, John here. We're going to be showing you two airsoft guns I wouldn't use them for an actual airsoft event, but hope you got good. First airsoft gun is a Springer M16. Now, I know it's a spring gun, but you can still put a red dot pipe or whatever, and you can put a bayonet on it. And if you're wondering why the stock isn't on it, because this gun's really long, but I actually took it off so it's more easier to move around. There is a switch on it. I don't think you'll see that, but you can do the switch on it for Florida and come on. It does nothing. Only the state the safety's there too. That actually works. But if you put it on a semi and four auto, it doesn't make a difference. To shoot it, you have to pull that back out of the way. You'll hear it click, then click that. To release the mag, there's a button here. I don't think you can see it, but there's a button here. So, like every M16 and 4, you just push that button and the mag comes on. It's a mid cap magazine, it's not a high cap, no dual level there. To load it, you open that. For the DVD, and there's a little slide here. You have to pull this down and then just shake it up and down and push it back. If you want to dip this gun, I would recommend it for if you're just starting because it's really it's for coming up here. Or if you're having a backyard room. I, mean, I, I don't really care. But um, um, if you guys want to know what this is, it is a DP, DPMX, so it, it's the brand DPMX, DPMX pantalones. On the gun itself or in the box, it doesn't say what it is, I just consider it, consider it a M16. Right, for my next gun, I have the HK330 pistol. The, I don't know what the brand is because my doctor said I just got an airsoft and I didn't really care what the brand was, but I don't know what it is. It's electric. It's below that. When you switch it to semi, you can't see it. It's too small. But above the trigger, you switch to semi and to auto. It only goes back halfway as you can see, but it shoots. 360 FPS would be one too bad. The mag is actually kind of weird. It's this. But it holds 18 rounds, so it doesn't matter. That goes in the front of the handle, which is all that is. The batteries are here. Um, there would be, there will, when you buy it, if you buy it, there will be a hatch here. But I actually have a drop line, and the hatch broke off, so I can't use it anymore. Um, as you can see, you can't remove the bump cap because it's too far back. And, um, because it's too far back. So, um, you could try to, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not perfect anymore. Um, there is no, just to make, the only safety is this button right here. Like, I'm pretty sure you see that. But, if you don't push this down and pull the trigger, it doesn't shoot, so you kind of have to push that down in order to get the Um, you can't, the only thing you can put in it is a red dot, not a red dot, but a flashlight, flashlight, um, laser, um, barrel cover, it doesn't matter. But I'm pretty sure you put one of those things in there where you just slide it on and you put a stop there. I wouldn't recommend taking a puppet because all the wiring and stuff, unless you like really know about how to do it. But other than that, I wouldn't recommend taking a puppet. Um, that is it. That's it. So. Um, I'll so in my next video, I'll either be doing my shotgun or my gas blowback 1911. I might do my sniper, but I, I'm not sure yet. I'm getting a report of my Xbox, so I might, um, I'll be doing more game videos.
Okay. So, we'll have to check.